What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live and today we're going to be doing a reaction to The Truth Untold by BTS. I'm really excited. This is a song that I've heard a lot about. I just haven't been able to do a reaction to it yet. It hasn't shown up on my list, guys, but I'm really excited to be getting into this one. If you're new to the channel, please smash that sub button and without any further ado, let's get into this freaking video. 3, 2, 1, BOOM! <laughs> Starting off with VGs. God, that was so clean. You know that I can't show you me, give you me. I have to stop this for a second. So a few things that are going on. I don't think I've heard this range from JK. A lot at least. And I love this range. He's got such like, that's in his lower register and it sounds so freaking good. I absolutely love that. Jimin's vibrato in that part, that last note that he held out, the vibrato in that was beautiful. Freaking beautiful. And I love Jin's voice here. And V starting it off was a really cool, like just the way that they started this song off was beautiful. And I have actually heard this, uh, the lo-fi version of this. I've heard this song already. Uh, the lo-fi version, we actually start our live streams off with that. So it's even cooler. This is so cool to hear this like fully now. <laughs> Just wanted to address this really quick and I'm actually going to back it up right after saying this. But I love the fact that, and I've never thought of this, they buy using English, Korean, Japanese sometimes, Spanish sometimes, they can rhyme anything and I never thought of that. I never thought of the fact that they can literally use another language to make something that might not otherwise rhyme in Korean, make it rhyme because they put English there or if it's not rhyming in English, do Korean or something else. I absolutely love the fact that he just did this here. That's the first time I've really noticed it but it works so well here. And I don't know if they do that a lot throughout most of their other songs, but this is genius, like genius that they're able to do this. I'm going back. But the first line that V says is what I'm talking about. God, that is a hauntingly beautiful melody. I'm not afraid to 
지친 홀로 남겨진 이 모래성에서 부서진 가면을 바라보면서 나 still want you 1, that was absolutely beautiful. The way that they all utilized their voices, that was like a very good vocal class. That was beautiful. <laughs> what I'm kind of getting from it right now is just kind of like letting your guard down in a relationship and just kind of showing like, these are my faults. This is like, this is me. The I still want you part, that's kind of like a lot of remorse in a relationship and saying pretty much like, I still want this regardless of these things sums up like your fear of if you show yourself like your true self then you're gonna lose the love that you have from someone else like in the relationship maybe they're scared of like fans it once they see their true selves uh they'll lose their fans or like their friends or something like that but it just seems to me like they're afraid of their rejection that you could get but i absolutely love that i feel like at the end of the song they're pretty much saying this is me a hundred percent but now let's get into the live performance and i'm really excited to see this because like there are some really cool parts that i feel like each member are going to go off in and i can't wait to see this live God, I love this show. I love his voice in that register. I just got chills. That last line is so good and like haunting. It's so freaking good. And his voice is just so clear whenever he says that. So perfect. So freaking perfect. Everything leading up to this is just like, I'm in awe of this song. Just everything up to this point. I'm like, God, the vibrato. JK really is standing out to me a lot in this song, by the way. Like, I want to give this dude props. He is in a lower register in a lot of the times. Whenever he does go high, he's got natural vibratos and cool little unique runs that he's doing. Really liking this. This is freaking cool. Good. 
Okay, okay, I gotta pause it. Like, I keep wanting to pause it and say something, but like every time I'm like, I don't want to be disrespectful and not hear what he's saying. Ah, either way, really just want to say this. There's a lot of imagery with the lyrics that are going on in this song. I'm not sure if there's like a story that seems familiar, but there's a lot of imagery in this song. So there's a lot of things that he's talking about that kind of like just seems really specific, like the sandcastle filled with thorns there's a lot of things that he's giving you like very descriptive scenes and stuff and then again watching like looking back at these lyrics i really think that what i was saying earlier about this being about like a relationship you're scared to show your true self in really really feel like this is what that song's about because like seeing it the second time and with that mindset it makes sense Jim and Crush that one too. God, his voice is so beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have absolutely no idea what this next one is. Um, it's an operatic compilation. So I'm not sure. I'm excited to find out what this is about, though. But as far as like a live performance, that was freaking amazing. They did such a good job just control over their voice, the pretty runs that they were doing. It was funny. I looked over at one point and JK was actually looking at Jin to see what Jin was doing. You could tell like he was kind of like processing what he should do right there next. And so he was like watching him and then you could hear him do ad libs. But it was really cool to see him like looking over at Jin and kind of like live reading that situation and like where he should go with his voice. Even though they like, you know, I know that they've practiced that millions of times, but I'm just saying like, you could see that process going on in JK's mind. It was towards the last verse, and that's whenever I saw him look over at him, and he was, like, watching what he was doing to add some ad-libs, and I really enjoyed that. Either way, let's get into this last video right now. Freaking swipe it! What? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Dude, did he do that at a show? <laughs> Some Phantom of the Opera stuff. <laughs> Alright, that is good. Dude. In another life, he would 1000% be an opera singer. He's actually pretty good. Pretty freaking good. <laughs> oh 
my god, how are you gonna end it on that last one? V should most definitely do an opera album. After seeing that, I don't know why he doesn't do an opera album. He's like, I swear, that is why I feel like V for me is probably the most like wild card in this whole situation of their solo projects because he's got so much that he draws from. You can't like pin him down to a genre and I love that. Love that about V. Either way, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I absolutely love that song, and I have if y'all have ever subbed into a live stream, the starting soon music is always BTS Lo-Fi. I have heard the melody for The Truth Untold so many times now. I never knew that that was that song. It was really cool to put like the music to it. The I Still Want You part is going to be stuck in my head forever that was so beautiful and like i said very haunting like it just it's something that will stick with you and i love that i'm a sucker for melodies this song had a million of them and live they crushed this did not expect anything less from bts thank you guys so much for sticking through this video if anybody needs anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves live spread some positivity out there be kind to one another and i will catch you next time freaking turtles <laughs>